baby. Welcome back, Miss Tashi. Yes. Girl, we got that same outfit from last week. I know that's right. It's called recycle. <laughs> I bet the kids are like, oh my God, Mr. Ramsey wore that last week and he has his hat on. Right, backwards. <laughs> Maybe I should put it forward to change it up a little Oh, bit. there we go. It's a new day. It's a new day. Hello, I'm Stashy and your name is? They call me Jacob. Boo. <laughs> no, my name is Devin. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you, remember, you remember when Devin took my hat? And he was Said like, Mr. Ramsey. call me Mr. Ramsey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ooh, we miss our kids We miss so all the kids. I mean, the love is just real. It is. It's so fun. You know what? We don't only miss the kids. We miss our team as our well. Team, yeah, the dream team. team. Oh, man. Oh. oh, you guys are just so amazing. Right. You know, just coming to church and be a family and have fun. It's just... It's a lot, you know, it's, it's it's a lot of cool things that we're able right. to do together. Yes, it is. So y'all remember the tea we gave y'all last week about Paul, right? Mm. Does anybody remember their memory verse? Mm. If you do, comment below. And say, I got it. I got it. I, I, I got it. I, I, I got it. I, I, I got it. Oh. That was cool. It was. Oh, well. Okay. They cooler. Mr. Ramsey, let's go ahead and remind them if they yeah. done forgot about their memory verse. I hope not. Now, y'all know what we've been talking about in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. Mm -hmm. We talk about grace, right? It's it's God's gift to us. We don't have to do anything to get, to it. get it. God gives it to us, right? Mm -hmm. So let's repeat it after me, all right? Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. Verse 8. Verse 8. Remember 4? Right here, four, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, what? Eight. Ninja yes. turtle, ninja turtle fingers. Wow, did you feel that? <laughs> well, let's go into this verse. It says, God's grace has saved you mm -hmm. because of your faith in Christ. Mm -hmm. Your salvation, your salvation uh -huh. doesn't come from anything you do. Mm -hmm. It is God's gift. That's right. It is God's gift to you. To you. He did it for you. Yes. Yes, you. Yes. Because sometimes kids don't think that they matter, but you guys play a huge role. A huge role. You guys mean a lot. That's why God said that children are a gift. Yes. They really are. Because God has placed so many different unique things inside of you that the world needs. What the world Needs now. Woo! Uh-uh. That's a piano? That was a piano, Miss Nastasi. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Ramsey. Yes. What happened after Jesus visited Paul in jail? Oh, my goodness, Miss Nastasi. So, the movie gets crazy. Tell me about it. Here we have Paul, who's been beaten, Ugh. traveling from city to city to stay protected, get arrested by the Roman soldiers. Because they was trying to protect him right. because of that crazy mob. They were ready. People who are protesting getting ready to kill him Ugh. because he was preaching about Jesus. So Our what kid. happens? He goes into jail and who appears to him? Jesus. Jesus appears to him. After Jesus appeared to him, Jesus tell him to be brave, to be encouraged, yes. to have courage, to, uh, to be uh, right. courageous, mm -hmm. and to have confidence. That's right? right, because Jesus got your back. But here, here goes the craziness. Okay, tell me. We thought the movie stopped there. Whoa. Uh oh, here go Netflix, season two. Okay. Right? Whoa, hold on. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. So here, here's what happens. So now, people are plotting to kill Paul. Oh my goodness. And as they're plotting to kill Paul, Poor Caesar, Paul. who is the governor, calls for Paul. Okay, then. So that they can go into trial about why are they, why did they arrest this guy? Uh, did you say Caesar salad? Caesar. The, he, Caesar was the governor of that time. Oh, my goodness. And now, here goes the Roman soldiers. They take him. And he's going, and he's going, and he's going. And he comes before Caesar, and Caesar say, let us take him Ooh. to a different place. Yes. What are these places, Miss Nastasha? What are these places, Mr. Well, Ramsey? Well, what happens is they took him to the governor, which was Caesar. Uh-huh. And they took him to a place called Cyprus. Cyprus. They traveled around Cyprus uh -huh. and transferred him to a ship from Egypt. What did they have in the ship, though? Grain. They was taking grain to Italy. Wow. Yes. So it's almost sound like they had to hide him 
in this shit to get him out of right. where he was. Had that man up on the rice and everything. Wow. <laughs> See, you don't know what God can use to take you away from a place that could be troubling your mind. Okay, because troubling your mind. Because all that screaming, all that fighting, all that pushing and tugging to get to fall because he's preaching the gospel. Paul is like, God help me, God help me, he sends Jesus. Yes, mm. and look, they hid that man under some grain, okay? The grain. Because they knew them people were not gonna mess up no shit with their food. Come though. on now. Okay, wow. so they was taking this man to Italy. Italy. But let me tell y'all what happened. What happens next? Mm, 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 mm. Mm. While en route, meaning while on the ship, hiding up under that rice. Mm. Hiding underneath that rice. Underneath that rice. Was it brown rice or white rice? Brown. It was brown because they said grain. It sounded like it was Come on, it was grain. Yeah, it it wasn't like, bleach. Yeah, that's why we look skinny, right? Thank you, because we don't ah. eat white rice. Ah. <laughs> so, let me tell you, child. Talk to me. That rice at Fresh Kitchen be good. Mm, that, now, that's God. Come on. Yeah. Mm, that's God. It, anyway, it, anyway. Yeah. Mm, let's get back to the story. While they were on the ship with them grains going to Italy, mm. a gentle wind started to blow. <sighs> the ship crew thought it was a good time to sail. Mm. They didn't listen to Paul's warning. Whoa! Paul tried to tell them, I don't think it's a good idea to be getting out here on this water. Mm. They was like, no, it's perfect. Mm. After a while, yeah. that wind started to pick up so fast and so much gusts of wind, it became like a hurricane. Hmm. Raise your hand if you live in Florida. Raise your hand if you know what a hurricane. Raise your hand if you don't felt the winds of a hurricane. Okay. The ship was caught up. Now imagine this, you on some water. Wow. In a ship with some rice. With some rice. They, the wind picks the ship up and starts spinning it around. Mm. Paul tried to tell them. He tried to tell them. The men did whatever they could to save the ship. Wow. They brought the lifeboat on board and tied ropes underneath the ship to hold it together. They even threw the cargo over the, bo over the boat. So they threw it overboard. So they threw all that rice and everything into the water. Because mm. they were nervous. Paul tried to tell them. He tried to tell them, in the midst of all of that, imagine now, you on this ship and everything is happening. In the midst of all of that, God sent an angel to Paul. Now imagine, all this wind and everything is whirring all around, the men screaming, going crazy, thinking they about to leave this earth. An angel appears to who? Paul. Paul. Nobody else but Paul. It's almost like Jesus, he didn't appear to the soldiers who were outside where Paul was in, in prison. Right. Or the jail, right? Uh -huh. He appeared to Paul. And it's amazing that when you have a relationship with Jesus, he appears to you in your situation because he wants to remind you of something. And plus, everybody might not see what you see. Wow. Let's go back. What Come did on. it say earlier about Come faith? On. It say faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what, what you, you can, can see. see. Wow! Okay. <laughs> Trying to tell that you. That was cool. You better preach that, Mr. Oh! <laughs> the kids are probably throwing toys and Thank rice and, and chicken at the TV. Hopefully not the, not the right, chicken. Right, because we're rice. not wasting no chicken. Yeah, we're not wasting that, no. So look, I need my movie voice again, Mr. Ramsey. Mm. Come on. In a world where a ship is in great danger, <sighs> God sends an angel to one man to encourage him. The angel explains that God will save the lives of everyone on board. Okay, angel. Thank you, movie voice. Thank you. Thank In a you. Word, we appreciate that. Thank you. So guess what happened? What happened? The next morning, Paul encouraged the crew and the passengers, all 276 people on board, by telling them what the angel had said. He told them to be brave. Be brave. Because they all needed to crash the ship onto the beach of an island in order to survive. Mm. So he told them they needed to crash the ship onto the beach of an island in order to survive. Wow. As you might imagine, the other people on board did not love this idea. Say crash the ship. Crash the ship. What you mean crash the crash ship? Crash the ship. What you mean crash, crash the ship? Crash the ship. Who, who finna, who? 
Wow, because people don't like to deal with problems at, people don't like to deal with problems like that. They don't. Actually. They don't. They rather take the easy route, but it's not always going to be easy. Mm. So, on the 14th night of the storm, mm -hmm. they discovered that they were close to land. Mm. The crew members were afraid of crashing, so they lowered the lifeboat. What? They have pl they plan to escape and leave Paul and the other passengers behind. But Paul told Julius and the soldiers that the crew had to stay with the ship. Mm. They have to stay with the ship. It was the only way they could be saved because Paul, see, Paul trusts God. Yeah. He trusts what that angel said. They had fear in their hearts, so yeah. they were going to abandon the people, but they... See, but that's what happened, Miss Nastasia. Mm. Sometimes we try to do things out of the will of God. Mm. So when we do things out of the will of God, we deal with our consequences. Mm. And you see here, Paul, who has a relationship with God, and God sent an angel to speak to him of how to stay safe. But there were still people, there are still kids till this day, who their parents are telling them, read, pray. Read your Bible, pray, God will give you this. But there are some kids who feel like they can do it on their own. They can do it on their own. Way. They don't need to read, they don't need to pray. It's boring, what yes. is this? It's not real, this is that. Those are all They're the fighting fibs. their parents when parents are like, it's eight o'clock, we need to pray. They don't like, I don't wanna pray, I wanna play my video game. Right. Or, I wanna text my friend or I wanna FaceTime. Parents are like, no, this is the time that we need to pray. Guys, you need to listen. Yes. It's so important. Let your parents crash that ship so that you can make it to safety. Yes. You have to trust them. God tasked your parents with being your parents. They're going to steer you in the right direction. Come on, word! In this season! Yes, in this season. Because you see that Paul speaks to the soldiers and the captain to let them know that. Hey guys, we have to crash this ship in order to survive. Mm. Here they go. Don't want to listen. Wow. But if you want to know what's happening next, mm. you better tune in next week mm. so we can tell you what they decided to do. Because you know what? I just And it just takes me back to one of the songs where it says, God's love crashes over. Come on. And it's amazing how God love, because of Paul, who was interceding, right. his love crashed over the ship it crashed so that over. he can save the lives. God, let and your love come crash on. over that, me. that is so amazing, kids. God loves love you love so much. Over our children. Yes, his love desires to crash over you in this season. Just like a wave crashing over you when you're come at on. the beach. Come on, that is so cool. And we love waves. Oh, yes, we do. Well, look, we got to continue with this movie because it's getting even better. Yes. Isn't it getting better? It's getting Nod better. Nod your head. So let's, 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 let's continue with this, Miss Nastasi. Well, in order for them to get the continuation, you guys have to tune in next week. <laughs> Sorry, kids. Oh, you got to go into episode number four. <laughs> Is it five? Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. As long as you subscribe, guess what? Ah! You'll get the next episode. I know, that's right. And it's always here for you. Yes. If you feel like you're really missing church, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, yeah. go to YouTube, go back and rewatch these. Yes. Because y'all gonna need to know these memory verses yes. when we come back. And because God, we're gonna, oh my goodness. We, it's gonna be more powerful. Oh my goodness. And God is taking, God is allowing me and Miss Nastashi to take time out to speak to you because he cares about you. That's right. So remember, what is your memory verse? Let me say it to you. you Ephesians. Repeat. Ephesians. Ephesians. Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Verse 8. Verse 8. God's grace has saved you. Repeat after me, Mr. Oh, Christ. God's grace has saved you. <laughs> because of your faith in Christ. Because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation, your salvation doesn't come from anything, doesn't come from anything that you do, that you do. It is God's gift. It is God's gift. It is God's gift. It is God's gift. We love you babies so much. Remember yes. to follow God. Love people and, and change, change the, the city. city. We love you. See you all next week. Week. Oh. Bring your glasses with you next time. Yeah. So you can see this movie 3D. Yeah. Oh, And remember to message us and then email it to us yes. if you don't have a Bible. Yes. 
If, and if you need any special prayer, you, your family, parents, if you're watching and you need prayer, email us, Ramsey at TKCI.org, right there at the bottom of the screen. And you have Nastashi at TKCI.org. Let Go, me spell my name. Yeah, spell it. N-A-S-T-A-S-S-H-I -S -S at TKCI.org. Send please, those emails if please. you have prayer requests, questions, sending in a I love you our way. Yes. Because we love you too. And let us know that you're connected to watching this wherever you are, whether you're in Orlando, Chicago, LA, California, Africa, New York, Egypt. Africa, wherever you are, if your thank kid is watching this, first time, we want to tell you thank you for watching it. Thank you, baby. Yes, we love you all. Bye. Bye. See you next week.